Now today's video is about extending short cables. Surprisingly common issue, but it's when you've either accidentally cut your cables too short or you've opened up a socket to find that the cables are too short for your new socket that you're putting on there. Anything like that. Yeah, you've got a few different methods of extending these cables using different types of connectors. So here we've got our cables that have been cut too short. The more old fashioned method is one of these connector blocks. They usually come on a long strip and you just slice pieces off. Now you just two screws and you just stick the cable in each end. These are probably the worst option personally as they need a tool to do them up. They've got a habit of coming undone, quite bulky and quite ugly. Next option is a Wago straight line connector. This personally I think is the best option. Another good option is one of these ideal inline inshore connectors. Now these are just push on. The difference with the Wago is that the Wago has got the lever so you can undo it. This does not have a lever so once this is on it requires quite a bit of force to remove it. Whereas the Wago you can just lever up to undo. Next option is just a regular Wago. You don't actually have to use one of the inline ones. You're, you can just use, especially in a box where you've got enough space like this, you can just use one of these connectors. Other options are just similar ver ideals version of the Wago. Now this one can't be removed either very easily. There's no lever to pull it out. So once it's in, it's in. We'll start with the inline Wago. We've got a window on the Wago. So you can actually see how far the copper's gone through. And on the sides of the Wago, it actually shows you how much sheath, so 11 millimeters there, needs to be removed. So I'm just gonna trim that back a bit. Now, you can see that's made off much better. You've got much less copper in the window there. So right. do the same with these two. Just snip off your excess. Because for the Wago, you only need 11 mil. So you want to make sure you've got your extension piece of cable, a nice long one, and then that can just go straight into the Wago. Same with your neutral, and same with your CPC. Now I haven't achieved the CPC yet, I've got your three extended cables, and then you would just make them off ready for your socket. So you really want all these three cables to be the same length. So now we've got our cables, strip these back. Now I'm going to double these over because this is just a single piece of cable going into this socket. We don't want to be putting undue pressure on these cables. And the reason we're going to double these over is that if you just insert a single core and screw down on it, it's very easy to do this to the cable. And you can see you've got a nice weak point there where the screw has just squished the cable. And that over time is likely to break. So you double them over so you've got more cable for the force of the screw to spread through. Now if you've got multiple cables, so you've got another, say this, you had two cables coming into this socket, then it's fine to just stick them in individually and not double them over. Now take your socket and now these are doubled over, ready to go into the terminals. Now you can see there we've got our extended cables into the terminals nicely. And these Wagos are nice and low profile, so easily hidden away in the box. We've also got our earth fly lead up here, which would also need to go into this terminal. So your earth in the back box. But you can see you've got plenty of space with these Wagos. Push the socket back, absolutely no problems. So these are the recommended method I would use for extending short cables. And as you can see, they're very easily removed. So you just lift these levers up and they will come away. And it's left with the way it goes in there. Now, one of your other options, the ideal inline connector. So these are just push on, but they don't easily come off once they're on. So push your cable in and same as the way go. You feel it take and you can see just in there where your sheathing ends. And now I'm pulling on that quite tight. That's a nice secure connection and then the same onto this same onto your other piece of cable now you've got a nicely extended piece of cable there and you can put quite a bit of force on that and it's not going anywhere now the negative of this compared to the way goes you have to put quite a lot of force on to get this off and i'm not sure if you're likely to damage these by doing that and if these can be reused after that or not now another method is use one of the standard double way goes and say if you want to extend the neutral just push that onto there Push that in and you've got your connection. Got your extended cable now. Again, there's no real difference between these and the straight line ones. The straight line ones work in exactly the same way. It's really just the profile. So it depends what enclosure you've got to fit them in to which ones you would use. So either would do the job. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.